I've got a really quick clip to show you of Tucker Carlson that really demonstrates just how disingenuous he is, where he is willing to just brazenly lie to his audience, the millions of people that tune into his program every single night. Take a look. So it's worth finding out where the public is getting all this false information, this disinformation, as we'll call it. So we checked. We spent all day trying to locate the famous QAnon, which in the end we learned is not even a website. If it's out there, we could not find it. Then we checked Marjorie Taylor Greene's Twitter feed because we have heard she traffics in disinformation, seen and told us, but nothing there. Really? You mean to tell me that your entire team, which I'm assuming is dozens, if not hundreds of people, consisting of spinsters, ideologues, and researchers, all of them came together to look into this subject and they concluded that there is zero evidence that QAnon exists and that there's not even a QAnon website. Who believes this? Who believes this? I don't know if this is him trying to gaslight his audience or him trying to downplay the significance of QAnon or the existence of QAnon altogether because maybe he bears some responsibility for propping up Donald Trump or maybe he bears responsibility indirectly by not denouncing QAnon. Either way, like, he's playing dumb. This is a lie. Uh, and he's lying because QAnon actually has multiple websites multiple websites. I'm not going to name them because I don't want them to get clicks, but uh, Max Burns uh, really, I think, made a great point about this. Before he resigned in disgrace, Tucker Carlson's top writer was an active member of popular QAnon message boards like 4chan and 8chan. Tucker should have just called him. QAnon literally has a website or a large chunk of one. The QAnon research board over on 8con is far and away the largest and most active part of the website. So, <laughs> I actually forgot about this. Tucker's top writer, uh, he was very heavily involved in these websites where QAnon um, originated, or at least was popularized. Either way, like nobody believes that Tucker Carlson is telling the truth here, but he knows that his audience of mostly older conservative people are going to believe him because they trust him. I just, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this. Like. What a liar. For those of you who thought that Tucker Carlson was good or could be good sometimes, like, what does this say about his character? What does this say about his concern for the truth if he's literally willing to lie in such a blatant manner? So there's nothing else to say about this. I think that the clip speaks for itself. Tucker Carlson is a liar, but of course, this is not the first time that he's lied, and it's not going to be the last time that he's lied because he is a propagandist, and this is what propagandists do.